back from my retreat in France where it was a very powerful time for all the women that came. I am still in awe of what passed and indeed I am integrating everything that happened and I'm really feeling this raw primordial energy um, coming through me and so I want to come and share this with you because there's a really important message from the goddess and that message is that as a goddess, you must never fit in because to fit in means that you are complying as the good girl. You are being subordinated and you are fitting into this patriarchal regime that has been repressing your very feminine nature for thousands of years, calling you crazy and hysterical when you talk about emotions, calling you dangerous and witchy when you talk about your intuition, owning your womb, owning the reproductive rights, all of these things have been a real repression of the goddess and therefore to fit in, which women we've been really conditioned to fit in, to please others, to be constantly giving and so what I find is a lot of women are editing and filtering themselves before they speak or they're negating their own needs. They're often cut off from their own needs and their own desires. I find so many women actually cut off from their raw desire force because they've spent a whole lifetime saying no to themselves and yes to others. So in the end, the desire force, that heart force, gives up. And what this is creating is a real holding ourselves back, a real taming down of this raw primordial energy. And it's this raw primordial energy that is going to change the world. Changing the world is not going to come from fitting in and following the status quo. Changing the world is going to be about not fitting in, about standing out and about saying no more to this way of living and showing a new way of living. This is about the goddess inviting you to recognize in, your, in yourself this unbridled wild feminine power. And almost what I saw this image of last week was the goddess coming in, you know, when you, people think they're going to see the goddess with me, they think they're going to see this maiden, this, you know, young, beautiful woman, but this goddess that women connect with with me, she has teeth, she is extremely powerful, and she is huge, and she is almost here to come into your life and say, what the fuck is this to every aspect of your life? So that what the fuck is almost like, what is going on in this aspect in your relationship where you're not honoring yourself, where you're not seeing yourself as a goddess, Kelly, or in your business asking, what the fuck is this when you're following all the cookie cutter modules and you're not allowing this raw voice and this authenticity to flow from you to come into say what the fuck to your relationship to yourself where you're not honoring all of those parts of yourself where you're trying perhaps to be in love and light and not owning the shadow parts perhaps you might call them or this raw primordial power really she's here to come and ask this question what the fuck to really shake you awake and see how you are not stepping into your power in every aspect and you are not saying yes to you as a goddess, you're saying yes to fitting in and trying to be accepted and loved. And the thing is, this wanting to be accepted and loved is an innate human need. And it's good, you know, we are humans. But sometimes I find, you know, goddesses are here to change the world. And sometimes we're looking for love in the wrong place. Perhaps we're with the wrong tribe. Um, perhaps we were born into the wrong family or perhaps we're just looking for it in the wrong place like in relationships where there isn't that love there and so almost goddesses are really being called to be pioneers and to really stand in their own power and not filter and edit it and allow themselves to be who they truly are 
and if that isn't fitting with some people then perhaps it's time to start spending time where that does fit with people where there isn't jealousy where there isn't comparison where there is support for you genuine support and cheering you on as you are stepping more and more into your power and more and more into your success the thing is as well, this is going to bring up the persecution wound. The wound which says, things got really nasty when I stood in my power last time or many times before. And so this persecution wound, as long with the being a good girl, people pleaser wound, keeps us shrinking back to fit in. And my real message for you from Carly, Anana, um, Isis, and all of these long processions of the emanation of this royal primordial goddess is really saying no more. The more that you allow her to lead, the more that you recognize her inside of you and almost create this sacred marriage with yourself, come to terms with the power that you are, come to terms with the gift that you have, come to terms with the magnificence that you hold, the more you do that, the more that you won't feel the need to fit in. And the more you don't fit in, actually, the more impact you're going to make in the world. Because we don't need more people doing the same thing and telling us how to keep the status quo. We need pioneers. We need leaders. We need people leading from within, leading from being a role model of that stepping into their power rather than talking about it as a concept but not actually fully living it so this is my invitation to you where are you playing small where are you fitting in where are you trying to be accepted where are you bending yourselves for others where can you start to say no more the thing is that the goddess can't be siphoned into specific areas of your life for example you can't say i am a goddess in business and you're in an abusive relationship you can't say i am a goddess you know in a relationship and you know not being able to sustain yourself through abundance and money so all of these old parts of yourself need to be passed over to her because this is the feminine tradition of death and rebirth all of these things that you're holding on to these old parts of your identity the things that we're attached to must be passed to her your false sense of safety your i'm worthy when i do everything your i'm worthy when i worry your i'm worthy when others love me all of this must go so that the divine goddess with inside of us that that black madonna that that deep dark part of us that raw primordial power can start to transmute this this must be surrendered all of it and when that is then you can be rebirthed into this new frequency of the mother who is here with a huge message to share and who is here to create world change we need more women stepping up to really physically emotionally spiritually on every level of our body embody the goddess within and my circle that's coming up it starts in two weeks on august 16th that's what i'm doing it's an eight month circle where you get personal mentoring from me plus an amazing tribe of women we're only going to be about eight women maximum coming together to really embody this goddess within and allow ourselves to live from this vibrant um energy that is carried within us so i think there's only one or two places left so if this is calling you then reach out to me i will put the link below and i would love to hear how this is landing with you thank you everyone for joining live if you're watching the replay let me know in the comments and i'll be sharing more on my mary magdalene voyage and there's going to be another one coming up in may as well lots of love bye